What's up, everybody? Dad Tech TV here, and today we're talking about one of the first things you need to do when you get your new Garmin watch. All right, guys, so I did a lot of research on all the different wearables, different types of watches that I wanted to get, and I ended up going with a Garmin Phoenix 5X Plus. This watch is pretty amazing with all the tech that's built into it, which I'm not really going to go into, but you can find some great reviews out there from a whole bunch of different people that go really in depth into all the features, what it does and why and why you would need it. Um, they talk about how it's not really a smart watch, it's more of a athletic watch. Uh, maybe I'll do another video kind of explaining a little bit more about what that means. But when I got this watch, one of the things that I didn't find in any of the videos was one of the first things I needed to do. So of course when you first get it, you're going to start the watch up, you're going to connect it to your phone using the Garmin Connect app, but then what? Well, I was looking everywhere in the app, I was looking everywhere on the watch, but I could not find a way to do a firmware update. So I went through the watch and I could see that this shipped direct from Garmin, it had version 5.4 on it, and they're currently up to version 7.1. So, I mean, with any other kind of technology product from phones to other watches I've had to all different stuff, there's usually a, uh, an option to just kind of say, okay, go out and check for an update, right? Especially on your software and your computer, but there was just nothing on here. And I, I hadn't seen anybody talk about how to force the update as soon as you get the watch. So here you can see the web page. Right now, the Phoenix 5X Plus is going for $650, is $150 coupon uh it's around father's day so that's a that's kind of why they say they're doing it i actually have the watch for less than this which i'll talk about in another video on how to get the best price on this watch i got it for cheaper than this but what you need to do is that you need to you can go to google and what you're going to type in is garmin express it should be the first link click on it and what you need is the garmin express software so this software is kind of the interaction between your watch and the computer, and that will actually allow you to force the update. So once you download and install this, let me bring up the software. Um, the first time you get it, I'll kind of say start, uh, and it'll, you'll have only add a device. So I've already done this and it's found my Phoenix 5X Plus, but it'll basically add a device. You can click on here and you'll plug your watch into the computer. So it has a proprietary cable on it because it's waterproof. So it's not a standard USB or anything like that. So you need to have the cable that they gave you in the box connected to your computer, which I'm going to do right now. And once you go through that initial setup to add the device, you'll get a screen that looks just like this. So what this did is that it checked the watch and it checked uh, the internet to kind of see from Garmin exactly what version it's on and if it needs any updates. So where this green part is at the top, I actually got a message that said, hey, you need an update for the newest maps. It didn't say you need the newest firmware. It said that I needed a map update. So I clicked to, you know, download and it did the map update. It said it was complete on here and I'm like, oh, great. OK, so my watch is updated. You have to unplug the watch from the computer and then it actually does a restart and that's when it does the actual install on the watch. So from here, you're getting the download, it's putting all the software onto the watch, then the watch has to do its own thing to actually install the firmware. Because I was on 5.4 and it went to 7.1, it did go direct. I didn't have to do any intermediate intermediary updates to get to 7.1. It did go straight to 7.1, but it did take a while. If I remember correctly, it was probably like a 350 meg file. So I had to download that, put it on the watch, and then do everything. So if you guys just got your watch, I suggest getting it up to date. Make sure you have the latest firmware. There's been a lot of huge improvements from what I understand from 5.4 to 7.1 things as far as accuracy, things to help battery life, a whole bunch of different stuff. So that's this is really the first thing you wanna do. Get your watch up to date. I hope you liked this video. I'm gonna do some more stuff on the Phoenix. I'm gonna do some more videos on just other tech in general, even though my channel has currently been mostly IT security type videos, I am gonna be expanding. So click subscribe, and I hope to see you guys soon.